Hello friends, my name is Taufik and you are watching my channel Graphics 10. So in this video, I am going to tell you how to create a disintegration effect in Photoshop. It is also called as dispersion effect. So it is very easy to create. You just need to remember the process. The process is very simple. The method it is very simple. You just need to remember the process and you can later on add your own variations, your own values to get different results. So let's get started. So first of all, I have taken this image and I have selected this object using the select subject tool. You can always make a better selection using whatever selection tool that you prefer. But in this particular video, I'm not going to concentrate too much on the selection because that doesn't really matter. But it does. It doesn't mean that you don't need to select uh, or you don't need to make a precise selection. If you can, you can make a precise selection. But in this case, I'm not going to spend too much time on selection. So I'm going to place it on this other image or other document that I have created. Now I'm going to place it over here. You can change the size accordingly. Now I'm going to put some gradient in the background. You can choose whatever color that you want and you can always change the background color since we are making it an adjustment layer or we are making it on a separate layer. So you can change the background color anytime you want. So I'm going to keep it a radial gradient and I want to make it a bit darker. Opacity 100. So I'll maybe choose this dark gray or blackish color and some more, a bit lighter like this. You can always choose different color combination. It is really up to you. So. We have already taken this image from that other image. Now we need to make a, another copy of this particular image. So I'm going to simply press Ctrl J or Command J to duplicate this. So we have two copies now of this particular same layer. On So on the bottom layer, which is below this layer, you need to press and hold Shift button and stretch is as much as you want the effect to be shown. So you can always change this later on and make sure the height is height matches the the layer below so you can always change this later on that doesn't really matter now we need to make a layer mask to hide this particular area so we are going to make layer mask actually we need to apply layer mask on both the layers so layer mask but at the bottom layer we need to hide this the entire image we need to hide the entire image so how to add it we can simply uh, draw or apply black color to hide it. So now the ba background color is black So we can simply press and hold control or command and backspace So that it will apply black color over here or you can simply use the brush tool and you can simply draw But it will take longer time. So I simply pressed Control or command backspace to apply the background color over here, which is black color. So It is there, but it is only hidden because we are applying it on a or we are working on a layer mask so the bottom layer is hidden now click on the the upper layer or the layer which is on top of everything and now select brush tool and choose a rough brush you cannot if you choose this simple brush like soft round brush the result won't be that good so we need a brush which is slightly rough so we can simply go to these legacy brushes if you you are not able to find this legacy brushes panel over here. You can simply go to this panel over here settings and you can simply click on the legacy brushes. It will pop up over here. Now in legacy brushes, go to default brushes and from that default brushes, I want a rough brush, the brush, which is rough on the edges. So this chalk 36 brush looks pretty much rough to me. You can always choose different brushes. Now go to the brush settings you can always go to brush settings from here or you can go to window and brush settings now we want a scattered brush so go to scattering and increase the scattering value you can always choose the scattering value as per your liking now go to shape dynamics and increase side jitter again as per your liking and again change angle jitter so that it will give a realistic kind of effect effect or different effect slightly rough effect 
and now go to brush tip shape to increase the spacing just keep the values as per your liking there are no fixed values over here now again we want to hide this particular area so we choose the black color as we know that black color hides the area and white color reveals the area so black color conceals and white color reveals that's the mantra that we follow so we want to hide this particular area your drawing doesn't have to be perfect or precise you can simply draw it randomly like this you can always choose the brush size or you can always change the brush size like this now on this bottom layer that we have uh, we hide we hid few moments ago we need to reveal that area so we choose white color and brush tool so it will the shape will the layer will be revealed so like this but make sure that you don't draw too much like this so this is how we get the dispersion effect as you can see this is looking like a this disintegration disintegration mean the pixels are falling apart from the image or that's what we are aiming for so this is how we can create a simple disintegration effect in photoshop as you have seen the method is very easy the process you just need to follow the process and you can always change the values to get different results change the values use some variation to get variations to get different results but the process will remain same so it is a very simple process so do give it a go and create some awesome photos you can always obviously we will choose different photos so but do give it a go and that's it for this video i hope you like this video and find this video useful if you do find this video useful please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video until bye bye and cheers